Welcome back, you guys. This is the Syndra. Continuing my Hoi for Kaiserite campaign as the Republic of Iran. Now, in the last episode, we defeated the Ottomans and we gained some territory from them. Basically, we gained Iraq over here and we created the Syrian Republic as a buffer between us and the Egyptians. And that's gonna work out fine, I think. But uh, I'm guessing we're gonna go to war with Egypt at some point here. Maybe. Uh, let's see here. They still kind of like us. So that's fine. But what are we working on right now? We're doing the tr railway. Yeah, we're going to finish this and go all the way down to here. And then we'll see what we do. But in the meantime, we could fix some of our uh, trade income here. We should have plenty of civilian factories. Yes, we're just repairing everything that's broken. Uh, fix the civilian ones first. Uh-huh. So we should be able to fix our production as well here. Yeah. Let's see here. Let's get this military factory up here as well. Alright. Maybe we should import some aluminum and such. So we're importing from the commune. Let's just keep getting from the commune. Uh, they don't have any tungsten. Uh, it's fine. Actually, this is just one. Uh, do I really need this? No. What's the penalty at the moment? What is the penalty to production? Uh, it's 10%. Uh, 10% penalty is fine. I don't want to waste my civilian factory on that. Yeah, we are importing the steel. We could step down by one as well here. It's gonna hurt our production down here. But it's fine. I wanna fix our repair stuff as well before we do anything else. Let's put it on speed five. But we are in control of quite a lot of oil over here. There we go, we got the motorized. Let's go here. What is this? Resistance to occupation. That does not belong to us. What? This does not belong to us. It's Saudi Arabia. They own that. Why am I getting a pop-up of this? That seems like a bug. We don't... We're not occupying any territory. No, we're not. That is weird. Man and subjects. Yeah, it's weird. So, Syria. You don't have a unique tree, do you? No. Serbia declares war on Hungary. Your manpower is garbage. And what do you have? You have nothing. You have no resources, do you? What do you have for factories? One and two. Okay, you know, it's fine. It's technically a buffer state, even though they don't have anything for us here. So Serbia decided to go to war with Hungary. Yes, yeah, Serbia, you're just completely suicidal. Absolutely suicidal here. You don't stand a chance against the Austrians. Uh, we're actually quite good, like party popularity, stability, and war support. It's all really, really high. And are we still? No, we're not gaining any more manpower. So this is the manpower we have with the manpower laws that we have going right now. So we have 400,000 dudes. And let's see here. I was going to swap some of you for this division over here. And then I'm stuck with these calves, which are just useless. I can't do anything with them. What if I just garrison you here in Tehran? How about that? Then you have a job, technically. Uh, yeah. So this is gonna get finished. We're gonna get a lot of infrastructure. Uh -huh. 70 days for more infrastructure. I guess we should just take a look at what's going on in the world. Like, I mean, Serbia is gonna get killed by... These dudes. You guys are demanding all Sus Lorraine. So the Second World War might start. It's interesting. Uh, who has joined you? Free Liberia and Italy has joined you. Australasia Union. Really? So Liberia have been wiped out. Oh, you're at war with the Entente. Okay, okay, okay. I get it. So there is a nation down here of Liberia. That is a part of the International. Uh, the third International. 
but they've been wiped out. Oh, we have enough for this. Ah, uh, let's see here. So, we are not fully social democrats here. We have radical socialist over here, and then we have radical socialist over here. Ah, uh, let's see, social democrats, social... Where's the social democrats? Am I blind? Here we go. Social democrats, they start here, and it's these five. Daily political power gain, it's very, very small. Daily political power gain, the same. Same ideology, monthly opinion. Daily political power gain, and improved relations penalty. Uh, so we have great compromiser. We got two of those. We got a apologetic clerk. Biased intellectual. I don't like this guy. Same ideology, monthly opinion. So this makes other people that are social democrats really, really like us. But it doesn't give us any points. AI modifier. Focus on peace. Uh, trade deal, opinion factor, and some political power. I guess we could just take this guy instead. But he's not going to give us anything. The decryption bonus is better than this. What about this guy here? He is... Uh, infrastructure and civilian construction speed. Well, it's kind of boring. Uh, let's see here. Social Democrats start where? Here we go. Social Democrats, it's these three and this guy. So there's four options. This guy has the same thing. Infrastructure and civilian factories. Social reformer. No, reformer. It's just called a reformer. Okay, we have construction magnet. Uh, magnate. It's, uh... It's infrastructure, air bases, naval bases, radar stations, rocket sites, and nuclear reactors. It's no factories. There's no civilian or military factories there. Resource gain efficiency. That could be good for some extra oil. And this is the same. I think I'll go for this for the extra oil. Yeah. So now we have three social democrats and one radical socialist. We can swap him out later. But we are now free of uh, build orders. Our build queue has been fixed. And we want more factories. Let's see here. We'll do two. No, we'll do one and one and one. Let's build one in every single one of these provinces. Yeah, we'll get five more for now. It's a start. It's a start. Uh, I could buy more steel, but it's mostly just hurting our convoy production and some of our... Uh, Artillery. Okay, if I wanted to swap, like, you three, if I want to swap you over to this, we don't have the infantry equipment? What? What? Ah, we're just out of the deficit right now. Interesting. I did not know that. Uh, 1940. Uh, let's get this started. I love having five of these. We still have a small penalty to research that we could get rid of soon. And there is the Second World War started right now. Interesting. Ah. I thought Belgium broke free. Or. Reinforced Belgicism. I don't know what that means. Serbia declares war on Albania. The Second World Creek. You are not in a faction. So, you're already at war with the Austrians, but you decided to go to war with Albania as well? You're just a suicidal person. Yeah, let's continue doing this. So, once we have the anti-tanks, I think we could just keep going down the artillery. We could start building some anti-tanks later. I just want to have the option available to me. Uh, yeah. I think I should focus on building more of an army. If I just build... Oh. If I just build this twice. Yeah. Just flat infantry with nothing else. And then we can swap these guys over later. Uh, we got the commando. We could get probe attack. No. Maybe. We don't really exactly have air support, do we? Toad attack. Toad anti-tank is finished. Let's do this for some extra oomph for our artillery. The few artillery that we have. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. 
So you're getting fixed. Nice. I barely heard that. Triad Syndicate was annexed, so the legation cities are gone. Interesting. Are they gonna puppet them? What's gonna happen to the legation cities? Oil logistics plan, and then we can do renewed trade initiative, which gives us production efficiency cap 5% and factory output 5%. Nice. I wanna take a look at my oil as well here. We have 200 units of oil. And we are trading 152 of them. Nice. The Germans are trading us 32. Wow. Albania was annexed. Serbia was actually able to annex you while they're at war here. Austria, you should be able to wipe them out. Seriously. What's going on here? Why are they holding out? This doesn't make any sense. Serbia should be dead. It's weird. It's really, really weird. But we have 18 civilian factories right now, thanks to our trade. Which is just awesome. Uh -huh. So, should I go for guns or... I think I should go for guns, because we still need to... Uh... No... Let's go here. Yeah. We'll finish this and then we'll figure something out. We're down to five focuses right now. Like, and these two are positive. So we have the unruly cons left to deal with. We've got this one that's about to go away after this one. We can fix this one soon. And we have to fix one as, as well. So we still have four of these that we have to get rid of, or fix. And what's going on over here? Sardinia is a part of the Entente. Really? And they're about to lose. Huh. You guys are not planning to do anything here. Army of the Pacific. They joined the Entente as well. Really? Who is a part of the Entente here? West Indies, French Republic. India, Sardinia, New Zealand, Cuba, Cuba, Portugal, and the Pacific States. That's just weird. Okay, that's done. Uh, I'm tempted to do this, but we don't have any. I'm also tempted just to unlock the field hospital. In case we get some motorized later on, that's going to help us a lot. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. There's got to be something better I could do. Right? Uh, we don't need this. Uh, let's actually do nukes. How about that? We get some research boosts. And we can maybe start getting nukes. Like, soonish. But, uh, the fall of Beijing. Damn, look at this. Ching is getting wiped out. Why are there so many pockets over here? Oh, right. The Fengtians are independent. Indo Chinese Union lost to the Kingdom of Siam. Would you look at that? They have Burma as an occupied puppet as well. You're not going to release them? You're going to keep them? Really? Kingdom of Siam is just going to keep Indochina. Fascinating. Okay, this is done. Let's uh, let's get some excavation, shall we? Let's try to get a bit more oil if we can. And this looks ugly as fuck. <laughs> this is incredibly ugly looking. What is going on here? How does that happen? How how does that happen? Ah, that's weird. But Ching, you're basically dead, aren't you? Yeah, you're not in a faction. You're only fighting Ching. What do they have left here? It's Ramadan, it seems. Ching was annexed, there we go. Happy Ramadan. So Japan took all of this. Uh-huh, okay. 
Renewed Trade Initiative. Uh huh. So, Doshen Shia Resolved. So we get 10 base stability. Really? Okay, all fine. And remove national spirits, recovering economy. Yeah, so construction speed goes away, factory output penalty, and the production cap goes away as well. Yep, let's do this. We'll fix finally the Black Monday stuff. And the Fangtians are massive. It seems like they split the legation cities, didn't they? Like this thing here is Fangtian, but this thing here is AOG. Really? What? That's weird. Hong Kong. This belongs to the Fangtians. So the Fangtians got like almost all of the legation cities. This is Deutsch Ostasian and this is the AOG. That is weird. So you guys are independent. You're probably gonna go to war with Japan as well. That is interesting. Seeing the Fangtians rise up. Okay, so we got this. It's 1940. We got 120 days on this. Let's get some more excavation done. That should be fine. Who are we gonna go to war with next? I'm guessing once this is done, we can go down to this thing here. And then we can get some CBs against people. It seems we finished some of our training dudes. Interesting. That's fine. Just leave them there. Once we get 24 of them, I'll uh, make them into an army. But you, I so wish I could disband you. I, I would really like to get rid of these units. I could probably Google how to uh, delete them. We got an extra dockyard? How? What? Okay, fine. We'll make some more convoys then. How did I get a dockyard? What? Why am I fixing things over here? Uh, what is going on? Why am I fixing things over here? Saudi Arabia, what's wrong with you? Take claim state, Bahrain. Really? Okay, let's do that. Justify war goal, take claim state, Bahrain. It's gonna cost us 13 political power and take us 65 days. Fine, if we have a claim on them, let's do this. And then we can probably bypass, uh, what's this, Bahrain here. Yeah. They have some oil. <laughs> let's go after them. I did not know we had a claim on Bahrain there. I wish there was a map mode to see my claims. That would be kind of interesting, because how am I supposed to know that Bahrain has, is a, one of my corns? There's no way to know. I wish I could console command this. Maybe we could Google that. Uh, Y4. Console command. Delete unit. Uh, we'll have to see how. what do I find over here. I just found all of the console commands. Ugh. Uh, ooh, what is this? The fall of Sydney. What's going on in Sydney? Oh, the Deutsch Ostasien are seizing them down. You're a part of the Third International. Yeah, that's right. Oh man, that must suck. <laughs> uh, we can modify our government. Uh, I'm thinking we grab a head of military intelligence. So we only have one social democrat over here. Supply consumption goes down. That's fine. Let's get this guy here. Let's see here. Uh, delete all units. No, I don't want to do that. Uh, anything else? Uh, no, that's the only one to remove that. That's weird. Hmm. What if I search for, like, a uh, template? Okay, I guess not. Well, fuck it. I'll look for it later. Maybe we can get rid of these. Because th this is not the only campaign I've done where I had, like, divisions that I can't get rid of. Like, I understand that they're, like, 
lore or fluff basically added to the game where I got some uh, Civil War units, but I should be able to get rid of them, right? It's only fair. Alright, so how long until we can get this? Uh, we're talking 30... No, we're talking 40 days. Okay. That's fine. CSA declares war on the PSA. That means the CSA have gone to war with the Entente. Yes, it does. So, let's see. How strong are you? You're really strong. And you guys are not. Looks like the CSA are going to wipe out the Entente power base in North America. Leaving them with only the French Republic as a great nation over here. Let's see here. Um, Australian-German war? Yeah, so... Um, Yes, excellent, thank you. We have the Commune of France over here. The Entente has Canada and the PSA. But it seems like the French Republic are no longer a great nation. What? Since when? They've always had a golden border, haven't they? Yeah. That's weird. So if they wipe out the PSA and Canada, America... The CSA are going to just conquer all of the Entente. That is interesting. That is really, really interesting. But it's kind of going to ruin the game, really. I mean, Syndicalists are always going to win this, apparently. Ah, that's just weird. So we're losing some manpower due to my divisions getting trained. So, we have fixed our Black Monday stuff. We're up to 76 stability. Well, let's go down here. We get 100 political power and 10 base stability. We're gonna go up to like ridiculously high stability. We need to go above 85. Japan announces her ambitions. You've just lost Fengtian. How are you gonna have any ambitions? Uh, you lost your most important puppet here. And you got some land over here. What? I mean, he has Taiwan, and he's got a small spot of land inside China. But he does not really stand a chance here. Alliance with the Kazakhs. Okay. That's kind of scary. The Mongolians are allying Alice Orda. But if the Russians declare war on them, they're not going to be uh, going after me, are they? Interesting. People's Constitution. Well, thing is, if I go to war, this will drop by 10%. There's uh, no way around that. If you go to war, your stability is going to drop. But if I take out Saudi Arabia, I can at least fix this issue with, like, unrest. It's weird, because I took this land in the Ottoman War, but uh, it got immediately given back to the Saudis, but maybe it's still, like, tagged as mine or something? State owner, Saudi Arabia... I don't understand that. Why am I getting unrest over here? Are these my separatists? No. But I'll conquer it and then we'll get rid of the issue, so it's fine. Ha'il? You're still- oh, you're still trying to fix this. God damn it. Yeah, so the factory over here that keeps getting uh, destroyed is not even under my control. I don't understand this. This is just weird. And for some reason, the game is slowing down a bit. A minister supports his ideology. Now, we'll revert his influence. Revert his efforts. We want to get up to 80. So it's this one dude, the radical socialist over here. If you can get rid of him, we will be golden. Let's see if I can stop something in the background here. Uh, there we go. Maybe it will play a bit better now. Maybe. There we go. So we can go to war. Declare war, call allies. Everybody go. And you guys are on aggressive. Okay, good. I called you in, right? Okay, now you can advance. There we go. Beautiful. Do you have any troops? They've got two troops. Alright. So all of this will be mine. And 
Should I make a puppet? I probably should. They have a unique focus tree, so they can probably beef up their stuff with that. Uh -huh. You guys are... You're justifying against the Syrian Republic? You're justifying against my puppet? Why am I not getting notified of that? What? So they could go to war with Syria. But that's my puppet. That means we go to war, Egypt. Are you prepared for that? So let's have one dude go towards the capital. How about that? Egypt declares war on Sudan. Oh, they broke free. You have a civil war issue. You have a civil war issue. So we stole a factory, but we're going to lose it. Canada has capitulated. So if they wipe out the PSA, the Entente is done for. And Baratia declares war on Bhutan. Interesting. So the Entente is going to get wiped out early. Ish. It's 1940 though. But still, that's kind of early. This has not changed at all. I think they've taken one province. Oh, come on. Yeah, they took Nancy. But that's about it. And Serbia is still holding on. How? How are they holding on? I don't I don't get it. Hungary has more troops than he does. This is just weird. Yeah, factory sabotage. I know, I know, I know. I don't care. Come on. Bhutan was annexed. Yeah, that's to be expected. Improved computing machine. Give me a decryption. Okay. How long do we get this? 12 hours. 12 hours. There we go. That should be the end of you. Take claim states. Take all states. End turn. Done. Okay, let's go ahead and border Egypt right now. Uh -huh. The annexation of Arabia liberates a loyal Arabia, Nejd, Kuwait, Abu Dhabi, and 19 others. Do they have a core over here? No. Liberate a loyal Arabia. Okay, so they took Bahrain. Even though I have a claim on it. I could demand it from them once. Right? Can I do that? Republic of Iran does not own Bahrain. We don't own it. People's Constitution. Now we can do a shining democracy. Iran is one of the first few nations in the Middle East that has embraced democracy. As a free nation led by its people, it is Iran's duty to safeguard the ideals of democracy. Stability 15%. And daily political power gain 0.15. Thank you so much. Arabian Republic. You have a default tree? Oh, come on, really? That sucks. I don't have a claim on you. Uh, let's see here. Republic of Iran does not own Bahrain. Oh, we took Bahrain. Oh, we were able to keep it. Nice. We got the oil over here. So this is now our core. We got even more oil. Ah, that is beautiful. So modified government. I'm going to get this guy out of my government. Yeah, I'm going to fix everything up here. We're going to have social democrats and nothing else. Let's take you, the great compromiser. We get some political power gain and trade deal opinion factor. For now, we are completely social democratic. Socially democratic. Nice. Um... You guys can extend this, right? Yeah. Excavation 1 is done. Let's do 3 as well. How much oil do we have? 223. And how much are we trading? 178, but we have 26 left. Germans are getting 40 from us. Sicily and the French Republic are getting 16. Huh. Interesting. Very, very interesting. So they're not trading with America. That's important as well. 
I got a free military factory. Uh, let's put you over here. And let's import some steel, since we have a whole factory worth of it. Give me this. There we go. Nice. So we're still getting a penalty here. 12.5%. Uh, That's from aluminum. I think we'll just import that. Yeah. The tungsten... Fine. How many factories do we have left? We've got 15, exactly. That's fine. So we're slightly behind on steel by one, but that's basically just the convoys, right? They're the only ones who get the penalty, yeah. The convoys get a 5% penalty. That's fine. That's absolutely fine. Okay, can we swap some of you around, or are we still lacking guns? Yeah, we're still lacking a lot of guns. Yeah, 9,000 units. We've got eight of you ready here. Uh, Sudan was annexed. I'm going to go ahead and move you to another theater. I don't want you with the other guys in. Uh-huh. Let's have you just border up here. And I'll tell you guys just to go here. Yeah. To join with that. Beautiful! I think I'll stop here. So, uh, we gained the Arabian Republic over here as a puppet. And we got Bahrain and gave us six units of oil. And we're getting a lot of oil. And I'm hoping at some point we can grab Azerbaijan. Uh, this, no, this is Afghanistan. This one. And then we can get the oil from them. But then again, we could just make them a puppet. Do we take them? I don't think we have a claim on this. No, we don't. We'll have to see what we do. But anyway, I will see you guys in the next episode. But until then. See ya. And thanks for watching.